my name's Liz, I'm the baker that sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a subscriber. As always, it's really lovely to have you here as I share my sewing journey. So welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fabric and pattern haul. I've got a couple of pieces of fabric to share with you and I've got two patterns to share with you. One of them is a new pattern release and then the other one is a pattern that's been out for a while but it's new to my pattern collection. So I thought I'd share that with you. Fabrics and patterns, I'll let you know what I'm wearing. And I'm wearing a hack of the Tilly and the Buttons Pearl Cardigan made in this cotton fabric that I got from Abercorn Fabrics. So I hacked the pearl cardigan into a maxi wrap dress with a ruffle and then I've put ruffles here at the dropped shoulder detail as well and that goes all the way down and it goes all the way around the back as well. I'll put pictures of me wearing it but I'll stand up. You can see that it's got uh, the wrap for the pearl and then I've tied it over here and then I've got a wrap skirt on it and then at the bottom we've got a lovely little ruffle that goes all the way around the back as well definitely like wearing secret pyjamas and it's super comfortable to wear as well whilst feeling really lovely and um, I made this for the so yellow for endo challenge that was on Instagram but I've loved wearing it it feels really lovely and dressy because of this gorgeous fabric um, I love it it's so lovely and bright but also really pretty with all the flowers all over it um, really pleased with this and I've worn it lots and it's super comfortable so I've got a stack of fabrics next to me, so I thought I'd talk through them. Some of them I've got firm plans for and some of them I haven't. And then I've got two patterns that I wanted to share with you. So I'll start with the first one, which is an active wear fabric. And I got this from Namazi Fabrics because I fell in love with this really cute fruit detail all over it. So it's got strawberries and cherries and bananas and lemons. And I just think it's really, really fun. It's got really good stretch and recovery and it'll be perfect for active wear or swimwear. And what I would like to turn this into is a swimming costume um, for my summer holidays. So I'm going away in August. And um, so I've got a little bit of time to research what pattern I would like to turn it into. And I'm undecided at the moment, but I'd like to turn it into a swimming costume of some sort. So if you've got a swimming costume recommendation, please let me know in the comments below. Um, but I just thought it was a really interesting um, sort of fruity print, perfect for the So Fruity Challenge that's currently running on Instagram. Um, I'm not in a hurry to sew it up, but I do want to make sure I've turned it into something by the time I go away in August. Um, but I just want to research because I know I want to turn it into a costume, a swimming costume rather than a two-piece set. Um, so I'm undecided about what pattern, but I know it's definitely going to become some kind of swimwear. And then the second fabric is a gingham seersucker fabric from Namazi Fabrics. And I loved the brightness of this gingham fabric. Um, it's really lovely. It reminds me of like raspberries. I just think it's such a lovely, bright, summery print. Um, and this is going to become the Sawara set by Friday Pattern Company. So I'm going to turn it into the top and the bottoms. And I'm really looking forward to turning it into that. I've already sewn up a Sawara set using a gingham seersucker fabric. So I know it works really well. It feels lovely and light and really comfortable to wear. So I know this fabric is destined to become the Sawara set. I've got, I think I've got two and a half meters or maybe three meters of this fabric. It's really lovely and lightweight. If I hold it up, you'll be able to see. It's got a really lovely amount of movement. Not so much drape, but it is a seersucker. So I wouldn't expect it to have too much drape, but it's got a lot of lovely, just floaty, Sort of movement to it so I think it'll be perfect for the summertime so I'm looking forward to turning that into the Sawara set for the summer then I went to a fabric shop which is local to me so if I can find these fabrics on their website I'll link them down below um, but I've got a couple of gingham fabrics which are sort of a large scale gingham and then I've got one fabric that's got strawberries all over it and then these fabrics are going to become a tiered uh, summer dress so I'm going to sew up a straight bodice with ties for the shoulders and then three tiers that have got um, um, sort of gathering so it's lovely and floaty and swishy and perfect for the summer so the first one is a green large-scale gingham it's just a cotton poplin it's a really lightweight cotton poplin um, not much drape to it but it will hold the structure and because it's quite lightweight it'll be nice and breathable for the summer as well so I've got it in the green colorway and then I'm really loving lilac at the moment so I've got it in a lilac colorway as well just a giant gingham um, sort of print. I think that's going to work so beautifully as a summer dress. Um, and then this print, I just couldn't resist. I love the different sized strawberries and on that white background, I just think it's such a fun print. 
and absolutely perfect for the summertime. So they're all going to become tiered maxi dresses for the summertime. And then I've got a fabric that I got from the Fabric Revival, which I've got, um, I bought with my husband in mind because I always like to sew him up a shirt for the summer. It's got a really beautiful teal background and then it's got these big cats all over it. I had quite a few people get in touch with me about this fabric to say that they thought of me. So thank you if you did. It was very kind. Um, I would love to turn it into something for me, but my husband has nabbed this fabric. So I'm going to turn it into a shirt for him. I'm not quite sure which um, pattern I'm going to use yet, but it's definitely going to become a shirt for him. This fabric is so floaty. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I think it'd be perfect for a summer shirt. I'm going to sew one up that's got short sleeves for him. Um, and I've got enough to sew up a shirt for him. Um, I just absolutely love that pattern. I love the colour. I love the drape that you get. It's a really lovely, lightweight, floaty fabric as well. So I'm excited about sewing something up for him. And then from Sew Me Sunshine, again, loads of people uh, sent me a screenshot of this gorgeous fabric. So thank you uh, for letting me know about it. I did manage to get some. Last time I checked, it was still in sock. Um, I can't remember what this was called. I think it was like Disco Zoo or something. But it's a really beautiful, lightweight. I feel like it's a viscose crepe, but it might just be a viscose. It was a dead stock fabric. I absolutely love how bright that print is. It's almost sort of um, pastel colours. I just absolutely love them. And there's loads of different animals all over it. I absolutely love that print. You've got lions, gorillas, zebras um it's just really fun monkeys every time you look at it there's a different animal that you spot um i think it's fabulous and i really love the the colors that are in it it's got an absolutely beautiful amount of drape and um, i have no idea what i'm going to turn it into yet i haven't decided on what pattern i feel like it needs to be like a nice floaty summer dress of some sort but i'm not quite sure what pattern i'm going to turn it into i've got two and a half meters of this fabric i think it's absolutely beautiful um, and if they've got any left, I will link it down below for you. They had quite a lot in stock last time I checked, but it might have been snapped up because that was a few weeks ago. Um, let me know if you've got any suggestions for what I could turn this into. It's just such a fun fabric. I absolutely love it. I love everything about it. It's a very me fabric. Um, so that was all of the fabrics I wanted to share with you today. And then I've got a couple of patterns that I wanted to talk about. The first pattern I wanted to share with you is a Jennifer Lauren handmade pattern. And it's the Isla wrap dress. And I've seen so many gorgeous versions of this wrap dress over on Instagram from the um, testers. It looks absolutely beautiful on so many different bodies and in so many different fabrics as well. So I'm really excited about giving this a try. Um, it's a perfect mix of 1950s house dress meets modern day wrap dress it's suitable for confident seamstresses looking to upskill and then the size is 6 to 24 in a to d cups and then a curved size 16 to 34 c to f cups um, it's got grown on sleeves and a wide gently rounded neckline buttoned at the top back neckline Isla includes waistline darts for body shaping at the front and back the gentle gathered skirt includes inseam pockets and falls to below the knee the back wrap dress the back wrap bodice is gently angled from the centre back neckline down to the waist. The waist ties are then used up for closing the dress at the waistline, cinching it in as much as you please. Extending the length of the ties is easy to do if you prefer your bow at the back. The back skirt overlaps almost side seam to side seam, um, meaning you have plenty of coverage even in windy weather. Isla is the wrap dress of your dreams, a mix between a 50s house dress and casual modern wrap dress. Cool, comfortable, layerable for all seasons and all occasions. So these are the line drawings. I really love the um, sort of detail on the back. It wraps to the back and then you've got this button at the top. And then you've got the ties that can come round to the front that you can tie into a bow. I just thought it was a really interesting take on a wrap dress. So I'm really looking forward to sewing it up. In terms of fabrics, it's suitable for a wide range of lightweight woven fabrics with some drape. You can choose any of your favourite fabrics from cotton lawn, voile and poplin to linen, light chambray or denim, as well as double gauze, sateen and seersucker. Rayon, silks, crepes and other slinky fabrics suit Isla perfectly as well. Do be mindful of the weight of the back neckline closure you use with these light fabrics though, as they can sag. And then in terms of sizes, for a six, it's a high bust measurement of 29 and 1 eighth of an inch. 
um, an A cup of 29 and a half inches, B cup of 30 and one quarter inches, C cup 31 and one eighth of an inch, D cup 32 and one eighth of an inch, and a waist measurement of 24 and a quarter inches, and a hip measurement of 35 and one quarter inches. And then for a 34, it's a 56 and three quarter inch high bust measurement, C cup 58 and five eighths of an inch measurement, D cup 59 and five eighths of an inch, E cup 60 and five eighths of an inch, F cup 61 and five eighths of an inch, a waist measurement of 51 and three quarters of an inch, and then a hip measurement of 62 and three quarter of an inch. It's packed full of top tips for adjusting the pattern to fit your body shape as well. And the instructions have got lots and lots of detail as well. I absolutely love Jennifer Lauren handmade patterns. I've sewn up a few of hers. I've sewn up the Bastion Clots, which is my favourite of her patterns. Um, so I'm really looking forward to giving the Isla dress a try. And I've got some fabric from So Haley Jane, which I'm going to use to sew up my first of the Isla wrap dresses. So I just thought I'd let you know about that one. And then the second pattern that I wanted to talk about is an older pattern that's been released, but it's the Deer and Doe Orchidy um, dress, which I absolutely love. You can sew up a top or you can sew up a dress. I've got the paper pattern, which comes in sizes 34 to 46. So for a 34, it's 31 and a half inch bust measurement, 23 and a half inch waist measurement, 33 and three quarter inch hip measurement. And then for a 46, it's 41 inch bust measurement, 33 inch waist measurement and 43 and a quarter inch hip measurement. It's a lined dress and blouse with a deep V-neck, bridal buttons and statement sleeves. Version A is a midi dress with a zipper closure and version B is a short blouse with a ruffled bottom. And I love the look of both of them. I love the look of the blouse, but I also absolutely love the look of this dress with these ever so slightly puffed sleeves. Um, and then the bridal buttons down the front is something I haven't done before. So I'm really looking forward to giving this a try. In terms of fabric recommendations, they recommend a batiste, cotton voile, Swiss dots and eyelet. So quite a lightweight fabric. I don't have any fabric in my stash in mind, but I would need to go through it and pull out some fabrics that would, wait, would work. But I'm looking forward to trying both versions. And I've seen some absolutely beautiful versions over on Instagram as well. So I'm really looking forward to trying both of those. And then I said I've got two patterns, but I've actually got one more pattern that I wanted to talk to you about because it's a pattern that I've just bought. And it's a pattern by Waves and Wild and it's their, um, oh, I can't remember what it's called, their Fell and Dale flat cap pattern um, that comes in 11 different, different sizes, starting at newborn, going up to extra large adult. The reason I've bought this pattern is because I'm going to sew up a flat cap for my husband for Father's Day. And I'll probably sew one up for my dad as well because they both love wearing flat caps. It's a traditional style flat cap. There's an option to put elastic in the back to help with the fit as well. And in terms of fabric recommendations, they recommend medium weight fabrics like a tweed, a cord or a denim. This is a pattern that's aimed at intermediate sewists. Um, and I'm really looking forward to giving it a try. So when I've tried it, I'll share it on one of my videos so I can let you know how I got on and how complicated the pattern is as well. But I'm looking forward to giving it a try. My husband loves wearing flat caps, but he hasn't found one recently that he's liked the fit or the feel of. So I'm looking forward to digging out some of the denims and corduroys that I've got in my stash, uh, getting him to choose and then having a go at sewing it up. So that was all the patterns and all the fabrics I wanted to share with you today. If you've got any suggestions, particularly for the fabrics, please do let me know in the comments below what you would make with them, especially this beautiful fabric. So that's the one that I'm really undecided on. I'd really love your thoughts on that. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, it'd be really great if you could hit that subscribe button. You get notified when I bring out my next video. Thank you as always for watching. Take care and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.